Good morning, folks. Hello, family. This is Raymond next to the property again, coming to you live from my apartment bedroom. Today is Sunday, August 16th, 2020, 7 12 a.m. Yeah, I got the fan on here. I'm trying to stay cool in this room because of the lights and the weather. This insulation is really bad in this room. Anyway, this is the word for today, part two for May 3rd, 2020. Once again, the word for today, part two, May 3rd, 2020, the weekly sermon. And let's go ahead and go into the first journal entry. May 2nd, 2020, at 10.35 p.m. Come unto me, all of you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is Jesus speaking once again. Come unto me, all of you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus. Let's start in the Gospel, Matthew chapter 11, verse 29. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Come to me, all you who are laboring, heavy rest, laden, laden, and I will give you rest. That's verse 28. Okay, the main one, Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, key verse 28. Come to me, all you who are labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle, lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew chapter 23, verse 4. For they bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. The Gospel of John, chapter 7, verse 37. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. The book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20, verse 35. I have shown you in every way by living like this, that you must support the weak, and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. The book of Genesis, chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten the tree which I commanded you, saying, you shall not eat of it. Curse is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles shall bring forth for you, and ye shall eat the herb of the field. And the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground from out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Job chapter 5, verse 7. Yet man is born to trouble, as the sparks fly upward. Psalm 94, verse 13. That you may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit is dug for the wicked. Psalm 116, verse 7. Return your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 12. To whom he said, This is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest. And this is refreshing, yet they were not here. Isaiah chapter 45, verses 22 and 23. Look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. I have sworn by myself the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness, and shall not return, and to me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall take an oath. Isaiah chapter 52, verses 2 and 3. Shake yourself from the dust, arise, sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose yourself from the bonds of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus says the Lord, you have sold yourselves for nothing, and you redeemed without money. Isaiah chapter 55, verses 1 through 3. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you have no money. Come buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread, and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good, that your soul delight in itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear, and your soul, and your soul shall live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The sure mercies of David. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 25. For I have saturated this weary soul, and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. An extra entry. 
May 2nd, 2020 at 10.36 p.m. As cold water is to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a faraway country. As cold water is to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a faraway country. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 25. As cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a far country. Genesis chapter 21, verses 16 through 19. Then she went, out, then she went and sat down across from him at a distance, of about a bow shot, for she said to her help, Let me not see the death of the boy. So she sat opposite him and lifted her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. Then the angel of God called to Hagar to heaven and said to her, What ails you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him with your hand, for will make him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the skin with water, and gave the lad a drink. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report makes the bones healthy. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 26. A righteous man who falls just before the wicked is like a murky spring and a polluted well. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 7. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. To the place from which the rivers come, there they return again. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verses 3 and 6. I have searched in my heart how to gratify my flesh with wine, while guiding my heart with wisdom, and how to lay hold on folly, till I might see what was good for the sons of men to do under heaven all the days of their lives. I made myself water pools from which to water the growing trees of the grove. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 15. Behold on the mountains, the feet of him who brings good tidings, who proclaims peace. O Judah, keep your appointed peace, Perform your vows, for the wicked one shall no more pass through you. He is early cut off. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 10 through 11. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people, for there born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Verse 12 is a bonus. Romans chapter 10 verse 15 And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. The next journal entry, May 2nd, 2020 at 10.39 p.m. To be a friend, you must show yourself to be friendly. To be a friend, you must show yourself to be friendly. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. A friend loves at all times. And her brother is born for adversity. First Samuel, chapter 19, verses 4 and 5. Thus Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul, his father, and said to him, Let not the king sin against his servant, against David, because he has not sinned against you, and because his works have been very good toward you. For he took his life in his hands and killed the Philistine, and the Lord brought about a great deliverance for all Israel. He saw it rejoiced. Why then will you sin against innocent blood to kill David without a cause? 2 Samuel chapter 1, verse 26 I am distressed for you, my brother Jonathan. You have been very pleasant to me. Your love to me was wonderful, surpassing the love of women. Proverbs chapter 27, verses 9 and 10 Ointment and perfume delight the heart, and the sweetness of a man's friend gives delight by hearty counsel. Do not forsake your own friend or your father's friend, nor go to your brother's house and day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. The Gospel of John, chapter 15, 
verses 14 and 15. Here, my friends, if you do whatever I command you, no longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I've called you friends for all the things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by Chris Tomlin. Is he worthy? Is he worthy by Chris Tomlin? And I'll post a link to that in the description box below, below the video, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. An external entry, May 2nd, 2020, at 1040 during worship. The goodness of God. The goodness of God. Exodus chapter 18, verse 9. Then Jethro rejoiced for all the good which the Lord has done for Israel, whom he had delivered out of the hand of the Egyptians. Exodus chapter 33, verse 19. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Exodus chapter 34, verse 6. And the Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abounding in goodness and truth. The book of Numbers, chapter 10, verse 32. And it shall be, if you go with us, indeed it shall be, that whatever good the Lord will do to us, the same we will do to you. Judges, chapter 8, verse 35. Nor did they show kindness to the house of Jerobal, Gideon, in accordance with the good he had done for Israel. 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 28. And now, O Lord God, your God, and your words are true, and you have promised this goodness to your servant. 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 66. On the eighth day he sent the people away, and they blessed the king, and with their tents joyful and glad of heart for all the good that the Lord had done for his servant David, and for his Israel, his people. First Chronicles, chapter 17, verse 26. And now, Lord, you are God, and have promised this goodness to your servant. Second Chronicles, chapter 6, verse 41. Now therefore, arise, O Lord God, to your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests, O Lord God, be clothed with salvation. Let your saints rejoice in goodness. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 10. On the twenty-third day of the seventh month, he sent the people away to their tents, joyful and glad of heart for the good that the Lord had done for David, for Solomon, and for his people Israel. Second Chronicles chapter 32, verse 32. Now the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and his goodness indeed are written in the vision of Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amaz, and the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. Second Chronicles chapter 35, verse 26. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and his goodness according to what was written in the law of the Lord. Nehemiah chapter 9 verses 25 and 35. And they took strong cities and a rich land, and possessed houses full of all goods, cisterns already dug, vineyards, olive groves, and fruit trees in abundance. So they ate and were filled and grew fat, and lied themselves in your great goodness. They have not served you in their kingdom, or in the many good things that you gave them, or in the large and rich land which you set before them, nor did they turn from their wicked works. Psalm 16, verse 2. O oh, my soul, you have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, my goodness is nothing apart from you. Psalm 21, verse 3. If you meet him with the blessings of goodness, he said the crown of pure gold upon his head. Psalm 23, verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 25, verses 6 and 7. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness. For they are from old, do not remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me, for your goodness' sake, O Lord. 
Psalm 27, verse 13. I would have lost heart unless I believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 31, verse 19. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you, in the presence of the sons of men. Psalm 33, verse 5. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Psalm 34, verses 8 and 14. O oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Psalm 37, verse 3. Trust the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Psalm 52, verse 1. Why do you boast in evil, O mighty man? The goodness of God endures continually. The next journal entry, May 2nd, 2020, 1041 p.m. Cast your cares upon him. For he cares for you. He really does. Cast your cares upon him. For he cares for you. He really does. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him. For he cares for you. 1 Samuel, chapter 1. Verses 10 through 18. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed the Lord and wept in anguish. And she made a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you indeed look on the affliction of your maidservant, and remember me and not forget your maidservant, I will give your maidservant a male child that I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor shall come upon his head. And it happened as she continued praying before the Lord, the Eli washed her mouth. Now Hannah spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you be drunk? Put your wine away from you. But Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor intoxicating drink. But I poured out my soul before the Lord. Do not consider your maidservant a wicked woman, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief I have spoken until now. Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition, which you have asked of him. And she said, Let your maidservant find favor in your sight. So the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. Psalm 30, verse 6. I'm sorry, 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 6. Now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Psalm 27, verses 13 and 14. I will have lost heart unless I believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait in the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 34, verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. Psalm 37, verse 5. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalm 40, verse 17. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help, my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. Psalm 55, verse 22. But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. But there is some deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. Verse 23. Verse 22. Cast your burden on the Lord. He shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalm 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Salah. Psalm 142, verses 4 and 5. Look at my right hand and see, for there is no one who acknowledges me. Refuge has failed me, no one cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, I said, You are my refuge. 
my portion in the land of the living. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. I fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25 to 28, 31, and 33, 34. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will. Put on, it's not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to a stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, and neither toil nor spin. Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? But seek first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. The next journal entry, May 2nd, 2020 at 10.42 p.m. I will walk and dwell among them, my people. This is Jehovah speaking. I will walk and dwell among, my, among them, my people, Jehovah. 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 13. And I will dwell among the children of Israel, and will not forsake my people Israel. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 20. That they may walk on my statutes and keep my judgments, and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 11. That the house of Israel may no longer stray from me, nor be profaned anymore with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people, and I may be their God, says the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 28. Then you shall dwell in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 23 and 27. They shall not defile themselves any more of their idols, nor of their testable things, nor of any of their transgressions. But I will deliver them from all their dwelling places, and which they have sinned, and will cleanse them. Then they shall be my people, and I will be their God. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Indeed, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. The Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 14. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Colossians, chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Be, okay, um, here we go. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. The book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 15. Therefore they are before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell among them. Revelation, chapter 21. Verses 3 and 22. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be there with them, and be their God. But I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The final journal entry, May 2nd, 2020, 11 p.m. Psalm 66. Praise to God for His awesome works. To the chief musician, a song, a psalm. Make a joyful shout to God all the earth. Sing out the honor of His name. Make His praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Salah.
Come and see the works of God. He is awesome. His doing toward the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land. He went through the river on foot. There we will rejoice in him. He rules by power forever. His eyes observe the nations. Do not let the rebellious exalt themselves. Salah. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who keeps our soul among the living, and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have tested us, you refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net, you laid affliction on our backs. You've caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to rich fulfillment. I will go into your house and burn offerings. I will pay you my vows, which my lips have uttered. And my mouth is spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt sacrifices of fat animals. With the sweet aroma of rams, I will offer bulls of goats. Salah. Come in here, all you who fear God, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. And if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear, but certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not turned away from my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Okay, folks, a family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by Woodlands Worship Maker. The song Maker by Woodlands Worship. And I'll post a link to that in the scripture box below and the YouTube video link you see listed here on your screen. Okay, folks, a family, that's the word for today's special. Not word for today's special. This is the word for today, part two, for April. For April. <laughs> One more time. The word for today, part two, May 3rd, 2020. Once again, the word for today, part two, May 3rd, 2020. Today is Sunday, August 16, 2020, and the time is 8.08 a.m. This is Raymond X, the prophet, coming to you once again from my apartment bedroom here in Sunny Ocala, Florida. Stay tuned for part three of the series in conclusion. Part three. God bless you all as you go about your day today. God loves you and so do I very much. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. This is your day to repent, your day of salvation, your day to redeem yourself and your decision day. Once again, Jesus Christ is coming soon. This is your day to repent. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not six months down the road. Today is your day to redeem yourself, to repent of everything you may have said and done in your sins today. Come to Lord Jesus and He will accept you as you are. No matter what you said and done, He will forgive you if you're willing to come to Him. Okay, folks, God bless you all. God loves you and so do I. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video upload. I love you all very much. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Jesus is Lord.